distinguishing true solution suspension and colloid aim distinguish the mixtures of true solution suspension and colloid on the basis of transparency filtration and stability chemicals and materials Principles Theory Procedure To observe the prepared mixtures of true solutions, suspensions and colloids. Study them on the basis of properties like transparency, filtration and stability for transparency take all three types of mixtures in labeled beakers and put each of them above a printed paper observations and inferences the print can be easily read through the solutions of mixtures a B and C the true solutions of mixtures A, B and C, each prepared in water, are transparent. The print cannot be read through suspensions of mixtures D, E and F. The suspensions of mixtures D, E and F are opaque. The print can be read, but not with clarity, through the colloids of mixtures G and H. The colloids of mixtures G and H are translucent. For filtration, take all three types of solutions in labeled beakers and pass them through filter paper observations and inferences no residue is found on the filter paper when the solutions of mixtures a b and c are passed through it the components of the true solutions cannot be separated by filtration residue is found on the filter paper when the solutions of mixtures d e and F are passed through it. The larger insoluble suspended particles can be separated from the suspensions by filtration. No residue is found on the filter paper when the colloids of mixtures D and H are passed through it. The particles of dispersed phase in the colloids cannot be separated by filtration. For stability, take all three types of solutions in labeled beakers and leave beakers undisturbed for several hours. Observations and inferences No sediments observed in solutions of mixtures A, B and C even after leaving them undisturbed for several hours. The solute, being soluble in water, forms no sediments in water. Hence, the true solutions are stable. A layer of sediment was formed in suspensions of D, E and F when left undisturbed for several hours. Larger suspended particles are heavier and insoluble in water which results in formation of sediments. Therefore, the suspensions are unstable. No sediments observed in the colloids of G and H even after these were left undisturbed for several hours. Particles of dispersed phase are very small in size. 
they are insoluble in water and remain dispersed throughout the body of water. Hence, the colloids are stable.